Hey guys, my name is Azarath Khan, and you're watching Black Desert Online. Today I'm going to give you some quick tips on how to AFK fish in game, and I'm also going to show you how to optimize Black Desert Online so that you could remotely control it, letting you basically refresh your fishing poles and fish all day long. Come check it out. Hey guys, so we're in game. Yes, we're in game, and we're on the island of Ilya. Ilya is just northeast of Velia you could get there by taking this ferry boat right here you could take it out of the port of Velia takes about 10 to 12 minutes to get to Ilia I like to fish here because the fish is usually abundant and also because there's a trade manager and a warehouse right nearby now when I'm AFK fishing I'm typically not home so I like to minimize the running back and forth. I know you could get more profit by trading your fish to cities that are farther away, but I like to trade it to this trade manager right here for 100% to 130% uh, because I just want to get the fish, you know, get rid of the fish as fast as possible and get back to AFK fishing, especially if I'm doing this remotely. Now, let's get to it. First thing I can tell you about AFK fishing is always keep your inventory as empty as possible. For the purpose of this tutorial we're going to pretend that I only have these fishing rods in my inventory first thing you do is equip your fishing rod head over to the water hit the space bar and voila you are fishing I like to check the checkbox up here for throwaway useless items because I don't want my character to automatically get any gray items they're not worth much and they'll just fill up your inventory backspace Another thing to note is the mini game will pop up, but if you ignore it for three minutes, as you would when you're AFK, your character will automatically catch the fish. Now you're asking yourself, what am I providing that's new in this tutorial? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide you a method of remote connectivity to your computer so that you could do this from anywhere. But most importantly, I'm going to show you how to optimize your game in order to utilize less system resources when you're AFKing and allow smoother connection over a remote connection when you're trying to fish over the internet. Alright guys, so let's hop to it. I'm going to show you how to find Google Remote Desktop, which is what I use to AFK fish remotely or fish remotely. Um, now you can use TeamViewer. Uh, it works well as, as well. I like using Google Chrome Remote Desktop because it does stream uh, your, your screen from your computer a little smoother. Now I use this uh, when I'm out and about. I'm not home and I want to switch out my fishing rods because as you know fishing rods have durability and eventually they break and your character will no longer continue to AFK fish. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and type Google Remote Desktop and search for that. Uh, now I will tell you, you need Google Chrome and you need a Gmail account to get this working. Um, so you might want to do that first. So if you already have Google Chrome installed, you've searched Chrome Remote Desktop. Here it is. Uh, you're just going to click Add to Chrome, Add App. And it's going to install Google Remote Desktop to your Google Chrome. And there it is. Chrome Remote Desktop. We're going to click on it. And it's going to have you sign in. Now for the purposes of getting this tutorial done, I've fast forwarded to, I'm already signed into Google Chrome. I've opened up Chrome Remote Desktop and I got my computers here. Now typically here you'll see a button that says enable remote desktop connections. Right now mine says disabled because I already have it enabled. When you click enable remote desktop or remote connections, it's going to pop up uh, a download file and you're going to install this. This is going to install the remote desktop uh, program in your computer. And when that's done, it's going to ask you to input a pin for security. Once you do that, your computer will pop up here and you'll see this button, you know, disable remote connections. My focus today isn't just, you know, setting up remote desktop because anyone could do that. 
it's optimizing black desert online for your afk fishing and for remote connectivity i'm going to show you again how to optimize your game so that it's not chewing away at system resources while you're afk let's get into that so here we are again in game my character's still you know fishing away like we left her um I'm going to show you some settings that I like to use. I'm actually going to go through the whole flow of what I do to my game uh, before I go to bed or before I leave the house. We're going to go ahead and hit escape and we're going to go to settings. Now, what I'm going to show you here is how to optimize the game for AFK fishing so it's not chewing away at your resources. What I like to do is I like to first put the game in windowed mode. And you'll see why later. I like to bring down the game all the way to 720. Why? Because the less, the smaller the size of the screen, the less resu the less pixels and information the screen has to send over a remote connection to either your remote device or another computer when you're remoted in. Therefore, your connection to your computer is going to go a little smoother. Let's apply that. You'll see how the screen gets smaller. The next step is I like to bring down texture quality all the way down. But before I do that, let's open the system monitor. So I got the system monitor up. And you'll see that my Radeon is running at 86%, you know, and it's using a lot of memory already because, you know, I'm rendering this game. But watch what happens when I drop it all the way low and graphic quality to optimization mode. Apply. Notice it's going <laughs> going quite lower. Oh, did I did I freeze my game? I'm kidding. It takes a while. So now the game is back up and running. Notice my CPU or GPU actually is lower now. The next thing I like to do is crop. Now these sliders are usually up here. I like to bring them all the way down and crop. What crop is going to do is actually going to shrink the viewfinder of your game into a smaller window. You don't need a lot of viewing space to AFK fish or you know to switch out your fishing rods so again by making this smaller it's less information that's refreshing over a remote connection and it's going to make your remote connection a little quicker and faster now another thing I like to do in the settings is I go to input and show hide cursor I switch it from control to X now you have to do this for Chrome because unfortunately the remote desktop for Chrome on the phone doesn't have a control button. So I use the X button to you know engage and disengage my mouse. Now our game is ready for uh, remote desktoping at its most optimized rate. Now the last tip that I want to talk about is minimizing the game and now you'll learn another reason why I made this windowed because it's the quickest and fastest way to minimize your game now I want to put emphasis on this you could have a fast computer with the latest and greatest but necessarily it, it just it necessarily isn't a good idea to run your game or you know on all the time running your GPU at any sort of percentage so the lower we could get that percentage the less your gpu is working the better because it's going to be less stress and less wear and tear on your computer so a cool feature about this game now that we have the graphics settings all the way down is that when you minimize the game you could choose to send it to the system tray by clicking confirm what this does if you'll note over here is it brings down the GPU significantly and now you can leave your computer AFK fishing overnight or when you're away from home and you won't have to worry about 
using so many of your system resources and putting so much stress on your GPU. Look at that. It went down to zero, almost zero percent. Now I feel more comfortable of leaving my game on for hours. Well, guys, that concludes uh, my my video. I hope you liked it. Go ahead and click uh, the like button or the subscribe button. Uh, hopefully in the in the near future, I'm going to be putting out more uh, BDO uh, type game videos. I'm going to be talking about not only fishing, but crafting. Um, one video that I'm working on coming soon is uh, building my first fishing boat. I'm going to document the process and show you guys just how to do it and where to find all those types of trees, what kind of workers you need, how you need them working to collect the materials for fishing. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, my name's Azrath Khan, and uh, just have a great day.